Okay, <clears throat> hello everybody. Okay, Merry Christmas by the way. Merry Christmas. Christmas is coming. Okay, and Christmas is definitely coming for people who use the Apple iPad uh, because Cubase Cubase for the iPad Cubase is, and it's not quite as awesome as the PC version but you know it's still pretty pretty good so we're going to have a good look at that and see how good it is the only drawback with this is I've used it for a few hours and now I got it this morning the only drawback is it's 35 quid uh, which is I don't know with 40 or 50 dollars 35 pound a lot of money for a nap so <clears throat> hopefully it'll live up to its uh, its its provenance if you like okay so we're gonna just uh, I've already set a couple of things up so I've done a test project so it's called test one we can drop that there looks similar to Cubase we're gonna add uh, we have uh, audio and MIDI unlimited audio unlimited MIDI so we're gonna add a MIDI track um, first of all, we're going to go to the media program and we're going to add a MIDI drum track. This comes with like 300 audio loops already and, and MIDI loops. So you can see we've got all these, all these. So we're going to add something a bit simple. Uh, okay, so we'll add a, uh, what's it called, 80s beat one chorus. Double tap, bang, in it goes. Okay. So far, I'm not sure if it's anything to do with the looping. I don't think it is, but so far it will add two bars. Okay, so if we want to add another two bars or multiple bars or whatever. Also, you can, as you can see, you can uh, grab hold of it and shorten it and do what you want with it. And you can fade. Um, so you can fade in and fade out. So that's cool. You can set the loop length. Obviously, it's dead easy. Oh, also you can edit as per normal you can also program your own drum patterns and things as well so let's just copy that and paste it next to it there okay so it'll paste wherever your selected track is so it's there so anyway um, let's move the loop see how easy this is this is so simple okay let's switch loop on go back to the beginning and okay Slow it down. Go slow, slow. 110. Cool. All right. So there you go. Then you see you've got a basic drum kit down there straight away. Let's add uh, another MIDI. 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 That's a new MIDI and audio hybrid. Okay. So. It will add it as a hip hop kit as well, so press media, we don't want that. Bring up our instruments again. So, let's see. Her, okay. We've got all these instruments. These are actually playable instruments, so we're going to find a, a nice paddy sound to go over that. Double click, pad. And because we're selected now, I've got this hooked up to a, yeah, um, you can play it on the keys by the way. But I've got it hooked up to with E Korg. So, all we need to do is hit record. It's recording now, but I'm not recording anything. What I will do when it comes around again. Okay, so say for instance we don't like that, which I don't. We can hit that and just delete the whole track. Add another MIDI track. Click on that. Select another sound. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bro, I know, brass section. Okay, and our brass section is in there. Go back to the beginning. Make sure that that's armed. Let's try metronome, see what happens. Okay. Two. 
Okay. So now, how quick was that? So let's solo the drum kit, select it, and there we go, here's where, where we can start playing. Oh, by the way, you have the mixer, and you have unlimited tracks, like I said. Go keys, media, off. It, we have send effects, and we have insert effects. Okay, so you can have up to three effects, pair track, different effects. Has all these different effects. You can add reverb, chorus, fans, limited, and simulation. Delay, phaser, filter, compressor. Okay, so let's add a reverb to the drums. Uh, no, I've just added reverb to the brass section. Oh, no. Okay, turn that back. Select drums. There you go. I only got this this morning. Insert effects. Ta -ta reverb. Ah, there we go. Okay, it's too much. It's Steinberg, all the effects are brill. Okay, let's go on to the brass section. Unmute it. Okay, let's. Take the, the reverb off that. And let's add a delay to the brass. idea and another you can add, we can add audio track so obviously we can plug our like our eye rig in play through the guitars and what have you and and things like that we can add effects we can and we could add and say another oh, so audio just this is just a, another thing if we go into media what's that 110 I'm not sure what the speeds are on these but anyway we get we got audio projects here okay so I think you find something that's 110. I think this is probably the, you can't alter the uh, tempo of the audio. But let's see for instance these flum drums. That's cool. Let's see what happens if we add that to the audio track. Because we've got 110 there, so bang bang. Okay, done. Okay, it, I, you can see where it's because my timeline is where it is. It's added it to. But let's just just not worry about that. Let's just pick it up and move it to the. Ah no, let's not. Let's put it on the second two and see what happens if we. Oh no, fade in. That is and just close the track. So <laughs> theoretically, what will happen is once it hits this, it'll start to play the dingy track as well. Let's have a look at the mixer and play the track. So, okay, so as you can see, it's fairly simple to watch it. And oh, God. Close brass section. I will. I'm. I'm wondering now if I change the sound to um, say a. You can also record audio in, by the way. So, like I said, if you, you, it's cool. Let's change that to electric grand. If we didn't like the brass sound. You've got uh, an, edit, an editor for the the wave. Oh, you can copy and import your other stuff as well via copy and paste, and export via copy and paste. So, with the this doesn't support audio bus, which would be absolutely mega cool if it did, wouldn't it? You know, as the output, but it might do in the future. You never know.
but it doesn't matter because you can set up your track in here and let's just see if we go to media now so we've got that 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 roughly mixed load of rubbish there move it over four bars let's go to media and um, projects what did i say oh test one test oh there you go test one so we've got test one selected i'm gonna share i'm gonna share this share no won't let me let me email it it'll put me in dropbox and it'll zip it but it's it's the steinberg file so you can put it onto your computer okay so mix down create mix down let's try that then oh here you go create mix down we can wave it or we can make it a, a, a an m4 an mp4 or a midi okay no in range between locators so oh, if i move the locator there so we, we get a little bit of spin at the end include effects trail so when the track finishes if you've got any echo blah 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 I'll carry on separate file for vocal for tracks we don't need that but some people might so let's select that one as well and there you go mix down test one cool beans there we go mix down test one all right okay select that one share oh, now we can audio copy audio copy it's now converted it to an mp4 because they're very small files and we like them copy audio okay oh done okay let's just uh, now this will also it also it's like auto save all the time so it doesn't matter even if it, cr it crashed a couple of times earlier i don't know why but even if it even if it's like um what's it it'll do it comes back in and it's fine so so, um, so there's our what's it so anyway you get an idea of how really cool it is you can erase you can draw you can select you can copy paste you can quantize you've got all the quantizing stuff for everything it's got a really great help you can set up different things your how much uh, polyphony you want or whatever uh let's see what else <laughs> usual things blah 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 yeah i mean obviously